Hello. Hi, is Jason here? No, not at the moment. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, I have no idea when he's going to be back. Well, that's all right. Because we can use the time to talk. Like it or not, I am in Jason's life. And uh, since it doesn't seem you're going anywhere either, we're going to need to find a way to deal with each other. So, um... Courtney tells me that you and Jason are getting married. Yeah, that's right. Well... You're not my first choice on list of potential wives for Jason. You're not even my 50th choice, but Jason knows what he wants, and obviously you're it. Well, if that's your way of saying congratulations on the engagement, thank you. Look, it is not easy for me to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I think you can understand why. I really don't know if you trapped Jason or if you are just incredibly lucky, but whatever it is, you are obviously the winner right now. It's none of your business, but I do love him. You better. Listen, I think we should talk about Courtney. Yeah, not my favorite subject. Look, she regrets what happened. She got upset. She lost her temper. She Look, knows it. I didn't exactly keep my cool either, but if, if Courtney can agree to get Bridget to go along with the adoption... Hey, I can call it even. Courtney didn't encourage Bridget to take the baby. Really? Is that what she told you? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, and Courtney's a good person. No, Courtney, she has a good Courtney heart. is miserable what? because she's still in love with Jason, and I'm going to marry him. She can't let go, Carly. Well, you know what, Jason and Courtney had something real, and it was very special. But you know what? It really doesn't matter, does it, Sam? Because Jason loves you. Hi. You know I love you, right? Yes, I do, and so does Jason. And we just want you to be happy and safe. And most of all, loved. That's why we're fighting for you. And I'm just praying that your birth mother changes her mind and that she realizes that... What I think you are. And she realizes that you... Better off with us. Yes. Hi. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi, I know I sounded a little mysterious on the phone. You said you, you said you had big news. What is it? It's, it's nothing bad. All right. I went to your place to talk to you. You weren't there, Sam was. But um, we actually had a little talk and we Laid all our cards on the table. What, 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 what did you say to her? I just talked to her about how um, Courtney felt bad about losing her temper the other day. And she's not trying to sabotage your adoption of baby Hope. Oh, okay, and? And what do you mean? What, what are you not saying, Carly? Look, I know how important this is to you. And so I brought in some special reinforcements for Bridget. Who? Okay, you're not gonna like it at first, but once you realize that this is the best possible way to get Bridget Who to sign over the adoption... Who did you call in, Carly? Lorenzo. Lorenzo is not against you on this. He thinks the baby should be with you and Sam. <sighs> Carly, he's trying to score points with you. So what if he is? Really, Bridget trusts him. He's the one who helped deliver her baby, for God's sake. Maybe he can get through to her. Okay, look, I know you mean well with me. You always do, okay? But Bridget is living with Courtney. She's not going to want to see Alcazar. Get him on the phone and tell him to leave it alone. Jay. Fine. Okay, do what you want, but you know what? This could have worked. It really could have worked. And one more thing. Next time you want to help me, don't. Okay, how'd it go with Courtney? Uh, she doesn't want to go to court any more than we do. Is she going to talk to Bridget? She wants what's best for the baby and for Bridget, and she knows that means leaving hope with us. You kept trying to warn me this was going to happen. No, we, we, don't know. we don't know how this is going to work out yet. No, Jason, you were afraid for me, and now I know why. I don't want to lose 
lose her, Jason. And I don't want her to lose us because I just, I know there is no way that Bridget can possibly take care of Hope. She's gonna go on assistance and gonna get, she's gonna keep her in daycare and I don't want her to grow up like I did, moving from place to place and not being able to count on the one parent that she has. And she's gonna feel alone. I just, I don't think it's fair. It's not fair to do that to her. We are gonna do everything we can to keep hope. Everything. And no matter what happens, we're gonna get to this together. I think you do it because you're so squirmy. Maybe I'll take you to the park this afternoon. Get all that food. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just wanted you to know that there's a hearing tomorrow regarding your petition for protective custody. What, what do we need to do to get ready? Uh, pack up all our things and bring the baby to the courthouse. If the decision goes against you and Sam, you'll have to surrender the baby immediately.